I have a, a company laptop in front of me. Okay. Uh, which I'm thankful for, because oh. there are some companies who do not issue these and ask you to provide your own. Oh, like me? What I am... Uh, <laughs> what I am... Uh, I'm not used to not having a touch screen, because I'm used to Apple so much. Like, I use my iPad so much. Yeah. That the this like hunk of a laptop and it's a nice laptop um like i feel like i'm drinking tea when i have to move the cursors and stuff around oh yeah and instead of just swiping scrolling through like it's just messing with me a little Is bit it a nice calm chamomile yeah it's just messing with me like darren ravel messed with me last night oh he did darren ravel messed with me hardcore last night oh, okay. and i think he messed with a lot of other people as well and i i i say this because i'm okay i am okay as a human being who lives in the triangle with the idea that the national media does not appreciate the Carolina Hurricanes. No, they don't. I've been on this for a while. Okay. It just some people are tired of the narrative. I think it's okay to buy into it because it's what it is. And more proof keeps coming out that it is the case. Darren Ravel tweeted out last night after the uh, Dallas series was settled. Quote, Dallas dash Vegas and Carolina dash Florida for the Stanley Cup. Not the matchups execs in the NHL offices will be thrilled with. That was it. Hmm. I have, I'm working here. I have worked in Vegas at the same time. Yeah. I, we've talked, just talked to somebody from Florida earlier today, George. And Dallas is a Stanley Cup team from less than three years ago. If the NHL is not excited about these matchups, I suggested that they get into these markets and really figure out how they understand them. Mm-hmm. And then I look at the stadium series ratings. We all were there because even though there were 50,000 people there, I mean, let's be honest, there were 300,000 people who were there. Yeah. The ratings for that game were better than last year's stadium series in what you would consider the southern darling of the NHL Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Like, if you... Nashville, Tennessee in the NHL, it's like, oh my goodness, this is so great. I don't mean to do that voice. Uh, You did. It's fine. I did. It's okay. Lean into it. You know, because the country stars marry the hockey players, right? Yeah. There's there's a story that popped up... Carrie Fisher. Yeah, there's stuff... (laughs) Yeah, there's a story popped up on YouTube about... It it was from uh, Howard Stern, Carrie Uh Underwood, talking about how she met her NHL-playing hockey husband and how she's hooked up other country artists with other hockey players. Yeah. Like, if there's a darling of the South, it is not us here in Raleigh. It is the Nashville scene. And they buy into it. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. Nashville's vibrant. It's It's a great city. Love to visit there. It's a good time had by all. But look at the stadium series ratings compared to Nashville, who... As we were talking about this earlier before we got into this, we're playing the Tampa Bay Lightning in that game in the stadium series. There. Reigning Cup champs at the time. We played the Washington Capitals, Sands, one of arguably the NHL's top 10 players in terms of recognition in Alex Ovechkin. Oh, top five. And, and they out, the television audience alone outdrew a Nash Vegas Tampa matchup. By 72%, by the way. So by seventy two percent viewership, when I see Darren put that out, on average, and I will probably. respect Darren Ravel because he's put in his work and whatnot. But when you put stuff out like that, you contribute to that narrative. Yeah, you contribute to the idea that, and it keeps on following up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so of these four teams, it, if we had to erase, and I'm sure they're having this conversation in the NHL headquarters right now in New York because I'm very positive of that because apparently they don't like the matchup. If you had to pull. One of the four teams out of these final four, Dennis. Or everybody can think about this on their own. If you had to pull out one of the four teams, which one would you pull out and who would you replace it with to make it a more palatable matchup for the national pastime of Canada and the United States, of, of the NHL executives? What makes this more palatable than these four teams? I mean, what 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 goes, yep, you know what? That would make it so that would that that's it. That, that will be agreeable to all of us. We will take the other three teams, but we must have this fourth team. And if that's it, then the fix is in. We might as well just have the New York Jets on Black Friday. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give you two things. Two okay. things. First one popped in my head was, okay, you replace Florida. Oh, I'm hot now. And and one of the two things... Adam Gold hot now. Yeah, well, you, you replace Florida with one of the two teams that they beat in, this, in, the, in the first two rounds. Boston, because they're the President's Cup's champions, and everyone's darling, a lot of people's pick going in. 
or you replace them with Toronto because it's Toronto. And I guarantee you there's so many, especially hockey media, and since a lot of them are Canadian, especially Canadian hockey media, boy, would they want the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Stanley Cup Finals. They would lose their freaking minds. There's a storyline there. There's an absolute storyline there. That would be... Or... That would be amenable. So yeah, they, that, would be, that would be approved. If you could approve something, that would be. I would. You know what? Yes, that that goes into the trade machine and gets the green check mark. Yes. So it's either that or again, you put Boston in because they were the Presidents Cup champions, and you could say in the Eastern Conference you would have the number one team in the in the entire league in the NHL with Boston going against the number two team in the entire NHL and Carolina in the Eastern Conference. That's one way you could pit that matchup. Or you go to the Western Conference. Vegas has been great since. They first came into the league. This is their sixth season. I covered Vegas for three years. Yeah, it's their sixth season. And how many times have they been in the conference final? Three in six seasons. So they've been phenomenal, including get to a cup their uh, cup final their first year so of you existence. Can't re- so you can't replace Vegas. So you replace Dallas with the team they just beat. Or, sorry, the not the team they just beat, the team that uh, Vegas just beat in Edmonton because you had Connor McDavid, the best player in the world. Even though the Dallas Stars were in the Stanley Cup Finals just a couple of years ago. Yeah, just three years ago. It's. <sighs> I start talking at a higher pitch when I get frustrated. That's okay. And it's so we can all take it. it let's. I'm going to take a deep breath here and okay. slow down just a little bit. You don't have to. That's fine. But when you see these, and and it's backed up constantly. It's backed up constantly. And what I can tell all of you who continue to believe that hockey should not be played south of St. Louis. I mean, yeah. really? I mean, let's let's be honest. Basically the, south of D.C. And I, can't, I cannot describe to you, and I've walked into PNC Arena, I've, I think I've only missed four games this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, I cannot give you the exact description of what a hockey purist looks like by walking into PNC Arena. It is... A pure joy when you walk in there. When it is Canes fans who are there to watch the Canes play and get behind the fourth line and lean into the uh, Freddie chants and to do those things, I go, that's what a fan is. Hockey purists are dead to me. They do not exist anymore if the NHL wants to move forward. Go on. They do They do not have a place in the new NHL, in the modern NHL, which has one of their star players coming from Phoenix, Arizona, who happens to play in Toronto, mm-hmm. which has lightning quick floors, which has opening games, which does thrive on defense, and you can win games with defense with the Carolina Hurricanes. Hockey purists... The original six, for those of you who believe in the original six, it's great. It's fantastic. We can sit on the rocking chairs in front of our our homes and talk about the good old days of hockey, whatever the heck that means at this point. Yeah. I grew up and loved Wayne Gretzky. I did. I love Mario Lemieux. Eric Lindros. These are names that I recognize. I recognize Brett Hull, but I also recognize the new game that has emerged. And for us to live in the idea that only hockey played north of St. Louis is hockey worth watching is stupid. I do not use the word hate. I use the word dislike a lot. And I dislike that a lot. Quit bagging on the teams that are south of St. Louis. They're playing good hockey. They're playing exciting hockey. They're playing relevant hockey. Just stop. Stop with that noise. And if you're doing it for clicks, stop it. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. Let these teams be part of the NHL. Don't exclude them. All you're doing is making us mad. I'm going to take a deep breath.